this so I'm really happy to be back in the studio and really kind of getting myself together at the moment practicing and knocking off a lot of the rust uh, I think anyone who thinks that they can go 14 months without social dancing and not be rusty is kidding themselves quite frankly uh, I've done some dancing while I've been not working here uh, I've done a ballet bar probably a couple of times a week on average two to three times a week uh, I'll be doing a little bit of yoga pilates that kind of stuff but really everything dance wise was scuppered by my foot uh, some of you may know if you've seen any of my other updates I had a bony growth come up on the back of my heel something which is not uncommon and it's colloquially known as pump bump or Hagland's deformity and sometimes it's caused by stiff shoes rubbing on a particular area excess calcium gets deposited there and it forms an extra protrusion so I've had that to deal with and there have been some mornings when I've got out of bed and I literally could not put weight on that foot it was so painful and it actually wouldn't support any weight so I really had my work cut out to figure out how to really address it luckily because of my background I've studied that side of things quite well I know what I'm doing in terms of rehab uh, and it's like anything else there's never a one-size-fits-all you really have to play trial and error try different things see what happens see if it works see if your body responds to it or not and you know I went around the houses I, I tried a few things before I came up with what did work and ironically what did work was the one thing I thought I would never be able to do which was dancing and specifically dancing in heels so it's quite an interesting thing to go into the mechanics of it really because of the unbelievable tightness in the calf and in the Achilles tendon uh, it puts the whole area under so much tension that to walk flat-footed or to dance in flats puts more stress through the area than uh, the body can currently cope with whereas if you take the heel into a bit of a lift i.e. when you wear a low to medium heel then it takes off that pressure uh, and now I fully understand what some of my other students were saying when they felt that they couldn't actually dance in flats but they could dance in heels I always had the opposite problem so this has been quite an interesting journey over the last couple of weeks and it's really given me a new lease of life because I've discovered that fire again uh, like a lot of people the last 14 months has really played with my mental and emotional well-being it's been difficult but finding out that I can dance again and I can start building my strength up and who knows maybe even looking forward to social dancing sometime in the not too distant future all things being well then you know, that's really made me feel good feel empowered and like there's something to look forward to again and I think that was kind of missing so that's my latest update I'm really excited to be bringing on some new students uh, some new people coming in for private lessons I'm not the only one who's raring to get back to it which is really good news and maybe I'll even be starting a 12-week group beginner course for a very small group of up to six people very soon as well all depending on rules regulations and all the rest of it so that's where i am and i shall hopefully see you on the dance floor very very soon